Okay, so in this question we're on a school trip and it's best to break this question down into uh, bits we need to work out. So it says four buses each carry 105 students. So the first thing I need to work out is how many students there are in total. It says 35% of the students are bringing their own lunch, so we don't need to worry too much about those students. Uh, a seventh of the students are buying lunch when they get to the theme park and the question just basically says how many have not made plans for lunch okay so find out how many students have not made pl plans for lunch so they're not um, bringing their own lunch and they're not planning to buy lunch there so let's do the first thing first and let's work out the total um, students total amount of students and show the examiner what you're working out each time so we're going to do 105 times by 4 you can do that any method you want um, but it's going to be 100 times 4 is 400 5 times 4 is 20, so it's going to be 420 students. So we've got 420 students in total. Um, so next we need to work out how many are bringing their own lunch. So bringing lunch. Okay, so to do this, uh, we're going to work out 10% first, um, which is going to be 42. Um, because if 100% is 420, that's how many students we have, 10% is, uh, you just divide it by 10. Um, and next we can work out 5%, um, which is going to be half of that, so it's just going to be 21. Um, next we need to work out 30%, because we need 35%. And all we do is times the 10% by 3. And again, I could do a bit of working out for this, so 42 times by 3. And you can use any method you want. Um, a lot of you probably prefer doing the grid, which is absolutely fine, so 40 and 2 and 3. Obviously, if it's on the calculator um, paper, you can obviously just use a calculator. But either way, you get 126, so it's going to be 126. Now, 35 would be these two added together, so it's going to be these two added together, because 5 plus 30 is 35. So 35% is going to be, and I can do a bit of working out here, so 126 plus 21, or the other way around, 741. So 147. Okay, so 147 uh, students are bringing lunch. Uh, next, uh, so buying at park. So p students who are buying at the theme park. It says a seventh of the students. Um, so to find a seventh, uh, all we do is we get the amount of students, which is 420, and we just divide it by seven. And again, you can do this any way you feel comfortable doing, although this is a bit easy because 42 divided by seven we know is going to be six. So sevens into four don't go, so carry that on. Sevens into 42 are six, sevens into zero are zero. So it's going to be 60. So students left. So we're going to do the amount of students, which is 420, take away the people who are bringing lunch plus the people who are buying it in the park. So we need to work out what that is. So it's 147 plus 60. So that's 7 plus 0 is 7. That's going to be 10. And so that's going to be 207. And finally, we need to work that out. So 420 take away 207 so you can't do 0 take away 7 so we nick one there 10 take away uh, 7 is 3 um, we need to nick one there as well so 11 take away is 0 oh no no I don't need to nick one there do I so we've just got one so that's one 4 take away 2 is 2 so the answer is 213 now it's really important that you set your work out um, really logically. Um, any working out you do, try and keep it near where you've done um, the rest, uh, done the calculation, written the calculation down. So I'd probably put this down here if I had like a, a piece of paper in front of me. Obviously, I've moved these around slightly just to make them a bit clearer, so I'm not constantly scrolling. Um, the headings are really helpful. So as an examiner, if you headed all of your working out it's really easy to spot what you've done and give you credit for it so just make sure you set out your working out neatly and logically